Hey what's up guys, welcome to Linux Techs. In today's video, we'll be having a look at my top 3 must have GNOME extensions. Well, it's a great time to get to know GNOME. Soon, millions of Ubuntu users will be welcomed to the GNOME desktop environment instead of Unity. So let's dive into the world of GNOME extensions and have a look at my top 3 must have extensions. Number 1. Dash to Dock GNOME provides a rather clean desktop by default. Except for the top panel, the desktop is literally empty. Unlike Unity, it does not provide a launcher on the desktop out of the box. This is done to facilitate user customization. The Unity launcher thingy in GNOME is called the Dash and it pops up only when you invoke the activities overlay by pressing the super button. Using the extension Dash to Dock, this Dash can be turned into a dock. The name is self-explanatory, I guess. This extension not only brings the Dash to Dock, but allows the user to apply a huge and flexible set of customizations. Honestly speaking, Dash to Dock is a beautiful piece of software. The degree of customization it allows while being stupidly simple. I mean the menu is so simple you can start customizing right in. Number 2 on the list we have Alt Tab. I don't even understand why this isn't a default feature. The very purpose of using different workspaces is to group different applications that are running into a group. To be more organized and to avoid distraction. When you press Alt plus Tab to switch applications, GNOME by default shows all the applications running on all workspaces and switches between them all. Consider you are editing a video on Workspace 1 with KDN Live and VLC open and Firefox open in Workspace 2. So if you press Alt plus Tab on VLC, GNOME shows you Firefox 2, real organized GNOME, real organized. Alternate tab corrects this issue and puts the whole Alt plus tab thingy as it should be, allowing you to switch between the applications running on your current workspace only. Number 3. Dynamic Panel Transparency There are many shell themes and even extensions that allow you to make the GNOME top panel transparent, semi or completely. But once you launch an application, the transparent top panel displaying part of the desktop wallpaper looks both distracting and ugly. I said it. Dynamic panel transparency is the extension that gets what I'm saying. Simply said, it makes your top panel transparent when you are on your desktop, displaying that gorgeous 4K wallpaper you put. Once you launch a full screen application, the top panel smoothly regains a solid color and vice versa. This extension can be tuned according to user preferences and has a huge customization potential. GNOME 3 kinda gets a bad rep because of the changes it made since GNOME 2. But honestly, your GNOME can be anything you want. You don't like something? Well, you can just change it to anything that you like. See, that's the power of extensions. GNOME extensions are very powerful. They are not something that you put on your desktop. They have the power to alter the very working of your computer. So go ahead, own your PC. Do subscribe for more awesome Linux stuff. This is Linux Text signing out.